Hello everyone, I'm Ian Genius and welcome to The Shore. Let's jump right in. Ellie. My dear Ellie. I have to find her. Alright. Looking for somebody right out of the gate. Oh. Hello, Mr. Seagull. Are you Ellie? Hmm. Doesn't look promising. Alright, it looks like we are in the aftermath of a hurricane or something, or a big tropical storm. Alright, we are looking for our wife, daughter. How about a coin? A shred of hope. Oh, what a man needs to keep moving before he loses his sanity and his will. Hmm. Ah, Walking yes. along the shore reminded me of the walks I used to have with my wife. Wee. Okay, cool. So Ellie is our wife. We are trying to find her. Hopefully this is in our boat. Because it is. Aha! I'm guessing they put water in that barrel. I could be wrong. Also, as we are wandering this beach, I would like to thank everybody because we hit 100 subscribers recently. So thank y'all very much. It does mean a lot. I really do appreciate it. Right. Aha! Another seagull. Ugh, they look strangely robotic, yet strangely lifelike. I don't like that. Animatronic seagulls. Government. Government is spying on us through the seagulls. Got it. Now the FBI is going to come for me. I do spy a bottle over here, precariously perched like that against this stone. All right, let's turn the bottle just ever so slightly. We'll tump this letter out. Get out of there. Aha. We armed ourselves and walked along the shore. To our surprise, we came across other ships that oh. had wrecked without any trace of survivors. It was this... like a graveyard for ships. Our compass goes mad any time we try to set a course off the island. Our captain says it's because of the volcanic dust. We think he's gone mad. Like, I'm a mad like compass. Right. Blah, 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 I'm a mad compass. Or you just mean it just goes spinning around all crazy like? They oh. speak of a fisherman who was lost in a stranded Who's sea. Who's they? He never came back. Now yeah. I know where he lies. That is a very odd what shape. Misfortunes head. could have drove him here. Uh, the ocean? Oh. It's creepy candles. Let's find the... Follow the trail of candles to see where we go. Probably there's something we don't want. Aha, an arm nailed to a cliffside. There. I have offered my right arm and spoke the correct words in his absence. Only pain accompanies me towards my demise. I was forced to leave the lighthouse. There's something wrong in all of us. Only no. the slumbering God can save us now. There's something wrong with you for taking what off your God arm. What is he talking about? Cthulhu, obviously. Come on. There's only one slumbering bud. Oh, shift. That's creepy. Can we take it? No. Why can't we take those? Hmm. Oh, there's more than one. There are a lot of those. Oh, there's something off in the distance over there. Oh, there's a obelisk. Obelisk or lighthouse? Go in lighthouse first. Gotta look for survivors. Because that doesn't As look we fun. we sent our feet in the sand for the last time, she asked me to tell her one of my stories. Oh, we're gonna get sad here? About the wild sea. No. Sad story. I could hear each of her breaths being shorter and shorter. And by the time I finished my story, pneumonia took our life. Well, that's depressing. I thought we were looking for Ellie. But she's dead, according to that. So, we're looking for a body? Hey, real fish. Healthy, delicious snack. 
nutrition. I haven't really seen a whole lot to pick up. Wonder why the uh, lighthouse has spikes coming out of it, and why there's a giant padlock. See, is Ellie my my granddaughter? My daughter? We don't know. If she's my wife. Yes. Super old table saw. Whoa! Old timey bicycle. Gonna ride that bitch up on out of here. Cthulhu can't catch us with that tiny wheel. What is going on? Aha, a trunk. A knife. A dagger. A creepy dagger, according to my character. Another coin. Take the dagger. I feel like I need something to defend myself. Monkey wrench. No. There's a... Uh, Telescope. Oh, there's a blue guy. And a boat. There's our ticket out of here. Anything up here? I feel like that's just like rickedly nailed out there. Just kind of like somebody nailed it into the side of this lighthouse. There's that monolith. Okay. It is very loud up here. Ooh, a chessboard. A Cthulhu ch Oh, I would love to have that in real life. I wonder if I could 3D print that. I would need a 3D printer, but that is cool. That is not cool. I swear I saw something towards the horizon. Behind the mist. It wasn't a whale. Or a great white shark. It's a it whale! A stretched a hundred feet. Submerging its body into the sea. Ugh. It crawled as if it was infected by a thousand parasites. In its tentacle mouth, it spit out black, disgusting, and disfigured blob-like figures. The moment they fell into the sea, they swam away faster than a dolphin. As the mist kept rising, I could barely see the creature. That wasn't a good sign. I should start placing those talismans I found at the bottom of the lighthouse. That's horrifying. All right, let's let's put that. Whoa, whoa! Oh, we're gonna take that. What is going on? Oh no! Oh no! Go down. Goodbye. Okay. Um. What do I do? I need to stop that. Uh. Aha. Maybe. Uh, another coin. Oh God! Am I making it worse? Okay. We've turned the lighthouse on. Let's grab that. I feel like me personally, if I saw a giant pinnacle monster coming out of the ocean, I would grab something to defend myself. Even though it's probably a lost cause, it would help, right? It's Mothman. Or not, Moth, Moth Plug. Weird globe thing. Booba looba loobies. Ah, backpack. Back, 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 back. A key! Yoink! Yoink! Thank you. Anything over here? No eyelids, a short blue tongue. Shark eyes. I tried to speak to them, but. In return, they hissed and growled and made all kinds of weird noises, no trace of language. So weird shark people. This artifact we found, the statue, looks ancient. The captain says we should take it back with us and that it would make us quite make us rich. Not sure where I got quite from. David, on the other hand, believes that a foul stench of evil dwells within it. What utter rubbish. From the moment we wrecked here, he hasn't stopped talking about bad luck or otherworldly omens. I heard him talking to himself about throwing it back to the sea. 
I am almost certain he's mad. He's obsessed with these disgusting leeches he found. He can't stop talking about how the, these worms have at least nine stomachs and more than 30 brains and at least 18 testicles. He says that quality matters rather than quantity. We couldn't stop making jokes about it last night. After some time, he took it personally, thinking we were mocking him. He moved to the third floor of the lighthouse and continued his little experiment. A normal body shape, no symmetrical, weird, weird, weird stuff. Oh, stuck? Hey. Oh no, am I stuck? There we go. That's soap? Yes. Soap. soap for a sponge. We got a key, and the only lock thing I found is to the basement, and as much as I'm loath to go into a basement in a horror game. Whoop! Bash myself in the face. Okay. How did they manage to let him die in here? What made them forsake their civil ways? Uh, I'll pick that. And there's my missing chest piece. I'll take that. And what do you say? I had to hide. I had to. I ran, I climbed the rocks and tried to hide. That's when I fell into a pit full of dead bodies. Their flesh looked rotten but petrified, as if their souls sucked dry out of them. The horrors in their faces touched the very void of my soul. Expressions as something horrific happened to them. That's when the rest of the crew caught me. They stripped me naked and they locked me down here. They accused me that I was the one that brought the bad luck onto them by placing these talismans for them and blocking the pathways. All I wanted was to keep them safe despite their uncivilized behaviors. So he's the guy that knew something was up and his buddies locked him up. So, okay. There's a handprint. Can we... Okay, we can't go back there. So we're just gonna leave. Not sure what blue man group member they locked up down there, but sure we'll find out. These games have a way of working themselves out. So we have one talisman and the chess piece. We're gonna go ahead and throw the chess piece on the chess board and hopefully stop Cthulhu from coming back, I guess. I'm making my way downtown. Walking slow, does my guy can't sprint? Gonna put this on the chessboard. Yunk. Did I do it? Oh, I'm, I'm, oh. Am I playing chess? This isn't creepy at all. Am I gonna lose? Oh, well, we're just playing chess. Take it. These are not the moves I make at all, because I would have taken that piece. We're moving our queen. Come on, we can win. Okay. Bishop to E2. I really hope this does something. Where are the pieces that are getting taken going? So I want to use that pawn to take that piece. Well, I wouldn't have done that. What's the king? The big guy in G1? Checkmate. I win. Okay, cool. That did nothing. Okay, well, we won a game of chess. Not sure if that will unlock some cosmic secret, uh, but we are going to go ahead and wrap up episode one of the shore here. If there's anything I missed, leave me a comment down below letting me know. If you like what you see, consider giving me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel because it's always appreciated, and I will see you in the next one.